Hello, welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today, the question we're answering is what's in the box in regards to this amazing looking role playing game? This is Magical Kitties Save the Day, a role playing game for all ages from Atlas Games. First off, thanks, Atlas, for sending me a review copy of this. I'm going to read the back of this one just to see if this gets you as excited as it does for me, especially to play with my kids. You are cute. You are cunning. You are fierce. You are magical kitties, and it's time to save the day. Every magical kitty has a human. Every human has a problem. In Magical Kitties Save the Day, you and your friends use your magical powers to help your humans. But kitties live in hometowns that are filled with even bigger problems, like witches, aliens, and hyper-intelligent raccoons. So kitties go on adventures to save the day. Simple, fast, and fun, Magical Kitties Save the Day is a perfect role-playing game for all ages. It comes with a comic book that's also a solo adventure to teach you the basics in a minute. Oh, in minutes. I was going to say a minute. Wow. In minutes. It's jam-packed with everything you need to introduce your favorite humans to RPGs. All right, we are going to crack this open. I'm going to tilt the camera down, and we're going to look at what's in the box. But first, I do have to cut this. So one thing you will note, this does ship without shrink wrap on it. It's got a nice UV coating, so it's nice to be able to see. You throw shrink wrap on that, you lose that. What you have is some sealed tape on the edges that we're going to cut through right now. Oh, it's only on the two sides. Can't even see it. All right, so here you have Magical Kitties Save the Day. I am cracking this open for the first time. Ooh, we have a very glossy rule book. Uh, you can already see that reflecting sitting on top. Uh, it is the size of the full box. I was expecting maybe a digest size rule book in here. Uh, so we have a kitty riding a dragon, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, this is not thin. This is definitely a role playing game, uh, not just a board game. We are looking at 63 pages. I gotta thank Atlas Games for providing a nice index on the back of the book. That's a great place to find it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip through this fairly quickly so you can get an idea of the layout. Um, artwork's fantastic. There we go. So here we have some great looking artwork. Uh, oh, okay, so a very thick soft cover card, uh, but then very non-glossy inside. So very matte, decent thickness paper. It uh, looks like a two-column layout with tons and tons of callouts here. Kitty tips. So we have all kinds of tips interspaced with the game rules here. Uh, again, nice, cool looking. We got some, looks like orcs or goblins. Lots of text broken up by artwork. We're getting a little sneak peek at the character sheet here. Try to tip this a bit so you can see it. All right, there's no way I'm going to go through every page here. So we can see it, two color layout, lots of nice full color artwork, full color book. Um, looks like they did a good job of using different fonts and boldness and so on to call out information. This is a block of text. This is, this is, it's supposed to be a beginner RPG, but there is a lot going on here. This is not a super rules light three page kitty RPG. So we are looking at a, a full featured role playing game here, it looks like. Uh, there is a GM adventure reference in the back, though I don't think you'd want to write on this. You can probably get it online. And then there is almost a DM screen-like uh, series of charts and information. Not charts, sorry. Um, bullet points and informations showing example complications, example bonuses, and so on. I gotta say, this is thicker and more more dense than I was expecting from this game. There, There is a lot going on in this book. Next, we move to River City. Magical Kitties Save the Day. Uh, this is Running River Sea. So this is an adventure. I really don't want to spoil this, so I'm just going to jump to random pages here so you can get a look. Oh, we're going to pull this out. We got some kind of poster in the middle here. Uh, even more dinos, and that's it. So we have the, an adventure here. Uh, this is also fairly long at 35 pages, so just as long as the rules. And then there's a little intro to the adventure on the back. Now, I know this game came with a map. Look at the kitties. So we're going to take this out, and here is a map of River City. That's a nice map. It's a nice looking town. There's like terrible looking industrial area over here. You know there's bad stuff going on over there. You got to zoom in of the main square here. And for whatever reason, there's a castle. 
So you can have your fantasy. There's like a crater up here. Lots of interesting stuff to explore in here. You got a big dark looking mansion on the top of the cliffs here, an observatory. Lots of great places to have adventures with your kitties. I dig this map. This is a nice size. I like the artwork. One sided. I gotta say, it'd be nice to have two sides. Give me two different settings to play in. All right, next we have lots of cat tokens. So we'll throw these over here to show off these cat tokens. I have no idea what these do during play. They punch really easily. They're a nice solid thickness. On one side, the cat's awake. On the other side, the cat's asleep. So I have to assume it's something you're gonna flip during play. So there's a full punch board of those. And then we have The Big Adventure. So this is the included comic book that'll teach us how to play. I have to admit I'm getting slight flashbacks to the Masters of the Universe role-playing game. So we have a full comic book here that teaches you how to play, which this seems much more approachable than the original. I do see some go-to, yeah, so go-to 12A, so it's a which way. So this is cool because I gotta say that rule book is intimidating. That's intimidating to me slightly as in like I'm not gonna be able to read that and run this game the same night and I can only imagine it'll be more intimidating to a child. Uh, this comic's great looking. The artwork's fantastic. I see it says the end. I don't want to spoil anything so we're just gonna flip to the end. Um, again, that just has the info. So it looks like they could sell this separately. You might be able to get this say on a free comic book day or something like that because it does um, advertise the full game here on the back then we get the character sheets which is wow a nice thick pad um, with the magical kitties logo and then a, a two-sided character sheet lots of details here let's see if i can show off some of this over here possibly so you can kind of see i'll scroll up here so you can see so those are kitty treats i don't know what they do in the game and then there is a second side to each of these with more uh, information at the top, but it actually tells you how to do stuff. So there's this rule summary right on the character sheet on the back for how do you roll checks, the number of successes, what you get, what upgrades you can take when you level up, how much XP do you get, and so on. I know nothing about the system of this game. I'm looking forward to checking it out. There is something else in here. So what we have is a, a an insert here that is felt lined which is really nice, that has room for stuff here, and I'm not sure what you put there besides the cat tokens. Um, and there are a set of light blue dice that appear to be just standard D6s. Yeah, so there are six standard D6s here. Unfortunately, blue does not go well with my camera. Nice D6s, nothing special about them. I'm not sure what these little spots, why there's spots here. Um, maybe the kitty tokens go in there. But there's way more kitty tokens yeah, kitty tokens fit, so there you go. That's a way to put kitty tokens in here. Uh, maybe it's a way to save the game for your characters. And then there's a spot, what looks like for cards, but there were no cards. So I, I'm i not sure. I know there is a deluxe edition of this game. Maybe the deluxe edition comes with more cards. But there is a spot here, I would assume, for each character to store their cards and their kitty tokens they've earned and save between games. But I don't have those cards. So I'm not sure what's with the fancy insert in this edition of the game. And that's it. We're going to put all this back. At the insert, it's functional. It's just odd. Magical Kitties Save the Day. All right, there you have what you get in the box for Magical Kitties Save the Day, a role-playing game for all ages from Atlas Games. Initial thoughts are, wow, that's a thicker rulebook than I thought. Like, for a kid's game, that does seem to have some weight to it. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Uh, my kids are huge fans of other role-playing games, like Tales of Equestria, that has a full, like, Dungeon Master Guide Players book. So I'm not intimidated that way. It was just more than I expected. A um, little confused by the box insert. Um, I have to assume that that's for the deluxe edition of the game, which comes from, with some cards. Uh, at this point, I already feel like I'm missing out. So I might be going online to see if I can find the cards for this game. Thick pad of character sheets, great looking rule books, love the glossy covers. I was surprised to see that they are the size of this box, so it's a, it's a little awkward to read. I was expecting more of a digest size box, but that's cool. Whole bunch of cardboard tokens with cat faces on them, and six rather nice looking D6s. 
Uh, standard D6 is with pips, not with numbers. I don't know if that matters to the system. Now, I have not played this system, but I do plan on doing so with my kids in the future. And when I do, you'll be able to find my review at TabletopBellhop.com, where you can find all kinds of gaming content. You can also find me all over social media as TabletopBellhop, one word. And if you appreciate this video and do like our content, it'd be awesome if you headed to Patreon.com slash TabletopBellhop and consider tipping the bellhop. That's it for me and Magical Kitty Save the Day from Atlas Games. Good night and game on.